So right here is the uh, site for the uh, staples, and depending on if you do have a have a section, this is just a few cards that I just put together to show you some samples. So when you go to the accounts, it'll show you projects, and the projects are the ones that you currently have uh, started. So when you click on some of these, these will be a design. So when it opens up, it gives you the dimension of the page, which is uh, three and a half by two vertical, and that gives you that selection. You have text that you can add, an image, an icon, customize things. However, this was actually a template that was already had some items on that I just took off. So just to go back into the site, here's business card and the options for create your own card. And when this comes to uh, open up, you have all these options on the left as far as industry, color theme, style to, to run through. And then you have these kind of settings that show the front and the back of what the card would look like. You just need to do the front. This one right here seems to be an easy one to manipulate as far as giving you the text and everything. Each one of these items is separate. When you click on it, it gives you the formatting for the text. And you can either keep it or take it out. And if you want the text to be in separate images or separate lines of type, that's fine. Otherwise, you can just paste in the information that you uh, currently want placed in there. And that's what this is. So it'll give me a, a selection that has this type. All these other pieces that come in, I can just eliminate and just keep this part as far as this, this selection goes. And if it runs itself over, you just have that selection. <clears throat> so that'll give you that, that piece. But again, the text allows you, it comes in highlighted, or you can just eliminate it altogether. And that's the part that, that you have. And that with any of the images that you have that you want to incorporate, you can just drag and drop this. So adding images, I already have a number of them listed. So I can drag and drop it, and depending on the size of the image when it was made or captured as a JPEG, that's what's going to going to happen on there. It'll be a little, a little bit larger. And again, just taking these pieces out and creating this as the graphic. So depending on how much of the text you want, you can place it uh, down there. And again, with some of the type, you can get away. Here it is centered, the proportions of it from the left to the right to the card. It'll snap to it, and this is the business card image, and that'll be placed in there. So you have those items, and again, down below you have some of the options. Here I'm just trying to match some of the the font. I tend to like it a little bit lighter and that type of thing. But you'll be that'll be your design that you come up with. It does has a 30 second save automatic button. Gives you a little um, title up there for it, and then once you're done, just go back. And when you click on, again, your account, you'll see the projects and the current ones that you have and the last one that you just created. <clears throat> so these are all just some that have uh, uh, some graphics to it. So when you take a look, it depends. Um, just put them in there for visual sense. So just putting the title, not everything there. But the image is there. The safe area, again, is referring to the part that would get trimmed off or cut off, which is a bleed, for that matter. And this is the uh, s selection that you'll have. And then a PDF file can be made. When you click on PDF, it's going to download and give you this. The only part is that will give you a watermark. You can barely see it right there. And that's part of the image. So you can go back to another one that has a little bit more of a image to, to be considered with their watermark. So for example, if I on this one for starters. You can see the PDF file would come up and it downloads it and then it has the watermark that's on the top of that section. So you couldn't really use this to print from. They do want you to print it from there. However, if you're trying to print it from your own, you could do a, a screenshot of this, try to take a, a image from there, but that would give you a section that's then placed into the uh, filing that's down below. <laughs> that's how you can make the card. And then, again, uh, capturing that page to put into the image that's on the part to be printed is going to be the step and repeat. So we'll leave it, leave it at that point.